video of the royal couple has gone viral on social media after it showed a rare moment of affection between the two. Public displays of affection are strictly banned for royals while on official duties and public engagements. However, the Duke and Duchess were filmed walking through their hotel in the Bahamas putting on a rare display of sweet affection. The couple were filmed by Jimmy Rex from the United States holding hands as they walked through the lobby of the hotel. The caption to the video read, This couple staying in the Bahamas had 35 security guards. The pair were wearing the outfits which they were seen wearing as they left the Bahamas on their plane. William wore a blue suit with a dark red tie while Kate opted for an 80s-inspired yellow floral dress. Royal fans commented on the TikTok video with it Linda Bob saying, Lovely to see them holding hands. Another called them such a sweet couple and one other said that it's so interesting to see them holding hands, I've never seen them doing it in the media. Quite a few fans commented on Kate's fashion choice with one joking, my mom wore that dress to my sister's wedding 30 years ago. Others commented on her beauty and elegance saying, I would have to take those shoes off, she is so elegant. In 2020, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made a decision to step back as senior working royals. Despite stepping back from the royal fold, it has been reported that the couple are finding out that the celebrity life has a lot of risk and are still pushing for royal life. PR expert Lena Citrian discussed the Sussexes' lifestyle choices with Christina Garibaldi on the latest episode of Royally Us. Speaking on Royally Us, host Christina Garibaldi said, They, Harry and Meghan, are one of the most recognizable couples in the world but they also wanted to straddle that royal life. You know, when they were told they couldn't, they're still using their HRH titles and things. So it seems like they're still pushing the royal life but don't really want to be associated with it either. PR expert Lita said, One of the things we've learned is you sometimes don't get to have it both ways. When you think about royal life and pageantry of the institution, there's lots of rules that come with that and there's protocols and there's rewards. But celebrity also has rules and protocols and rewards, it also has a lot of risk, being handled is different, being managed is different. Miss Citrian added, I don't know how they would find a way to bridge both but they kind of need to choose. Ms. Garibaldi asked Lita, in your opinion, what do you think that they're going to do? I mean it's almost like they have to choose that celebrity route since the royal family told them that there is no place for them. Ms. Citrian replied, well, yeah, when the door shuts, it's kind of hard to still make a decision, you know. On January 8, 2020, Harry and Meghan announced, via their official Instagram account, that they intend to step back as senior members of the royal family. In the statement, captioned under a picture of the couple, they declared that they were wanted to work to become financially independent but also continue to fully support Her Majesty the Queen. They stated that their final decision came after many months of reflection and internal discussions, and that they planned to balance their time between the United Kingdom and North America. It was recently confirmed that the couple would be flying to the UK to celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee next month. They will also bring along with their two children, Archie and Lilibet, for the visit. The Queen will get to see her great-grandson Archie for the first time in two years, and meet Lilibet, who turns one next month, for the first time.